welcome back to my channel. Okay, we're doing like a super lax Sunday vlog right now. Um, I've been MIA this week, you guys, and I promised on my Instagram that I was gonna fill you in. Um, I have had an insane week. Um, we last minute decided, because it was like the end of summer, that my family was gonna come and stay with me um, to just like celebrate that last week. I still have two young sisters that are still in school. Um, so before school starts up after Labor Day weekend, we just all wanted to get together again, which was super fun and I had my mom and all my siblings here and um, woo, making corn on the pot right now. Anyway, so like I was saying, um, so I had all my siblings here, we're just hanging out. My dad joined us and he was done for work with the week. It was amazing, just lots of things going on and um, and then I, I work I work full time, my husband works full time, and we don't work full, like easy jobs. My husband works, um, he's a scheduler estimator for a local construction company, so that takes like a lot of like, just takes a lot out of you because he's working like 12 hour days and it's really intense. Um, he's talking with the contractors and things like that. And then I'm an accountant and that is by no means an easy feat. Um, so anyways, we've just had our hands full. This week, it has been insane. Um, I wish I could get more into the details for you guys, but that is in a nutshell what is going on like with our jobs and things like that and our orders. Um, anyway, so, but now um, I kicked butt last Friday at, at work and so did Mike and we kicked butt this weekend on orders while hanging out with the fam. So we should be more so caught up now. Kaya, <laughs> I thought you didn't like the white broccoli. She's giving me a She's like, is it inside out and backwards? This is a great outfit choice. I love your style. This is really good. I like this white broccoli. You do like the white broccoli. Let's tell a story about the white broccoli. Last Friday, I think it was, we were making dinner and she threw up in her mouth because she was trying to eat the white broccoli cauliflower. Right? Yeah, so this is cauliflower. That is cauliflower, you got it. Yes, I'm gonna eat it. You're gonna eat it now? Oh my gosh. <gasps> we got a crappy naked baby over there. What's going on? Oh my gosh, look at you guys, I just vacuumed. This is, when you have all these bodies in one space, just the things happen. So I got an extra treat this week. I have my little sister staying with me for the week. So I have, um, yeah, are you excited to have Lini stay with us? Your hair is so sticky and full of gunk. She has had an awesome weekend. Um, I So last weekend I wanted to show you guys real quick, I'm gonna insert a clip of the kids um, at the birthday party that we went to. It was super cute. So I'm just gonna insert that really quick for you guys so that you can see what that birthday party was like because we will be doing something very similar for Kaya's birthday and I'm so excited. So anyways, I will insert that right now for you guys. The naked baby over there. <gasps> Hello! That's a sweet boy. Can't have camera. <gasps> Can't have camera. He was naked. <gasps> he was naked. So we are at the one week countdown for California. I'm super excited. Um, <sighs> I have all the things to do. I have been like nonstop eating today, you guys. It's embarrassing. Um, we had like leftover steak in the fridge and I devoured that. And, um, I mean, it hasn't like necessarily been all bad things. I did have a bowl of peanut butter crunch. That was the worst thing I had today. But anyway, I still need to hammer out a workout. I've got a really fun um, skincare routine video 
that I've been meaning to record for you guys. So I am going to include that for you. Um, this week as well, I have a like a work week, um, like mom routine for you. Um, Cause I'm kind of showing you a, di a couple of different aspects of my day um, as like a full-time working mom. I do like a lot of those day in the life as a full-time working mom, but this is more so focusing on my routine and what I do. Um, I will probably skip the toothbrushing because I feel like I'm always recording myself as I'm like brushing my teeth in the morning. Um, so I'll probably skip that part. But um, anyways, I wanna show you guys some of the other details. Like what does it look like? Like once I first wake up, like once I'm like done getting ready, um, what do I do after that? So like setting up my breakfast and I wanna show you guys some of the supplements that I've been taking. Um, I have a really yummy, ooh, chicken stress for done. All right, Kaya, your chicken's done. And then um, I wanna just include, like like I said, some of those supplements and things that I use. Um, show you what it looks like when I get home, what kind of dinners I typically will put together um, to try and accommodate for the entire family, but still try to stay low carb. Um, and then what my like workout routine looks like. I usually go for a run every single work weeknight. Um, oh my goodness. Yep. So. Anyway, that will be coming to you guys on Thursday. And then we are leaving for Cali on Friday. It's actually technically Saturday morning, but we'll be driving from our house to the cities to fly out, um, Minneapolis to fly out um, Friday night. We'll be staying with my parents on Friday night and bringing Lainey back home. So, anyways, all right. Time to whip up some chicken nuggets and vegetables and because that's kind of counteracting, right? very balanced Sunday meal. Beautiful on styrofoam plates because health. <laughs> We're gonna feed you some applesauce. Should we have some applesauce, buddy? No, we don't always eat like this. If this is your uh, first video to my channel, you will know that this is very out of the norm for me. Um, this is just one of the meals that we had left over from when my family was here, so and we had styrofoam plates from like a leftover party. I didn't feel like doing dishes. So, anyway, again, health. Um, applesauce for baby. He's been doing really good, you guys. I am going to be doing a sit down video um, as to how I started Riker on um, baby food. I mean, it's fairly simple, but just for like searching and info reasons, um, I will do a separate video on it. Um, yeah, so that you guys can like refer back to, um, oh yeah, refer back to the information. Yeah. But he is doing really good. We did get the thumbs up from his pediatrician to go ahead and um, give him peanut butter. I don't know if you guys have heard this, but it's changed a little bit since, a lot of it, since I've had Kaya. Um, when you're, let's see, when Kaya was little, they said no peanut butter until after the age of one. And then even then you were supposed to be very cautious about it, make sure you were near a hospital just in case, things like that. Um, now with Riker, they said to do, um, like take a little bit of peanut butter, mix it with water, stir it up so that it's really runny, kind of touch it to his lips and put like a tiny bit on his tongue, like not a whole spoonful, you guys, like a very, very small amount. And I even went as far as to like wipe it all the way around um, his mouth, like on his cheeks because when Kaya was little, she had an allergy to ranch. She had a sensitivity to ranch and it, she wouldn't necessarily show anything um, inside her mouth, but she'd break out in this rash around her mouth. So I just, because that's how Kaya broke out, I did the same thing with Riker and 
Um, we did that last night, and I actually used the powdered peanut butter, that PB2, um, just because it was easier to add water in it and make it runny. So uh, he did great, he had no reaction. Watched him, usually within the first 10 minutes is like what my doctor said for a reaction. But anyways, long story short, he did really good with that. Loved it, I mean like loved it. Wanted more of it. So little by little, maybe I'll start incorporating some more peanut butter into his diet. So I just wanted to share with you that's what my doctor instructed us to do with him. Make sure that you're following your doctor's instruction as well. But I just thought it was interesting because with Kaya, um, is your arm stuck, buddy? With Kaya, anyways, they had us wait until after 12 months of age. And now with Riker, they had us do it um, just after six months of age. So, um, and she said it is because kids exposed to peanut butter between six and 12 months have been shown to have a lesser risk of um, developing a severe allergy to peanuts, which I thought was really interesting. But anyways, long story short, I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving a medical advice by any means. I'm not giving medical advice by any means, but like I said, I just thought it was interesting how much it has changed since Haya. So, anywho, loves it. And he's very hungry, very crabby. After this, we're gonna have a bath. Yeah, we're gonna have a bath. And then I'm gonna tuck you in, and you're gonna go to bed. Crabby boy. Okay, so I just got Riker into bed and gave him a bath quick. The camera's been having like some issues lately. Okay, so I just got Riker into bed, gave him a bath, put him down, and now in the middle of supper, Kaya fell asleep and it's like seven. Riker's in bed by seven, that does not happen. Kaya is sleeping, she needs a bath, and it's seven. So I don't know what to do right now um i think i'm actually i think we're gonna go work out since both the kids are sleeping right now they might both be down well i know Riker for sure is down for the night but she may be as well i don't know you guys um okay anyway i am gonna go into the garage work out show you a really cool piece that mike's been working on and then i'm going to say goodbye to you guys so um let's uh get ready to work out. I gotta get my hat off and all the things, okay. Okay, so this is what Mike's been working on this whole weekend. We've got fireplates. So for those of you who don't know, this is what we sell on our M&M Rustics stuff. So we are working on getting a website, but currently we're just on Facebook. But yeah, this is this is a really intricate piece. This one's a little harder than most of our other ones, but super cute. Oh my gosh, guys, okay. I just got done working out, and then I took a shower afterwards because now I'm going to record my skincare routine for you guys. So I'm gonna kinda, so what you can expect in this skincare video is I'm just gonna kinda like go through all the weird things that have been going on with my skin postpartum and as you can see like this is one of them um i get like crazy red cheeks i always have gotten red cheeks but these are like crazy now keep in mind i also worked out just a little bit ago but anyways i'm gonna record that for you guys right now and then like look i've got no eyebrows <laughs> also me no makeup super scary like no eyebrows and i look like a 10 year old girl all right guys, I'm going to scoot. I'm gonna go record this video for you guys. Um, this week's schedule will be Monday, Wednesday, Friday to get caught up since I did not record last week. And then I will be um, keeping you guys posted for next week. I'm not totally sure yet what the plan is going to be because um, I haven't decided if we're bringing our laptop or not. Depends on if I can get it into Mike's um, backpack or not for the flight so anyways I'll see you guys on Wednesday for another really fun video okay bye guys